yeah, massive collection, right? That's years and years of collecting. And I wanted to show them all off to you, or as many as I can. So what I want to do is I want to take a specific wrestler, and I want to show you guys all the figures I have of that one specific wrestler. Now, I don't know, um, right now, I'm kind of playing around with selling them all because they're kind of just taking up a lot of space. And you see, that's a lot of figures right there. And I don't want to get a storage for them, and I just moved into a new apartment. So the money would be nice, but I wanted to show them off before I did. So the first one that I wanted to show off is one of the only basic figures I have. I have a couple more basic figures here, but this is the only CM Punk one I have. I have about 10 basics. I wanted to stick with the elites. I like how the elites look. They're great. All the boxes are really good. You know, they kind of, they kind of differ later on. They're not as good. But I like the looks of them in box, too. I don't like opening them up. So, um, yep. So this is the basic figure. This is the first one I want to show you guys. Um, my only basic CM Punk figure. Walmart exclusive. Got him when he was still at Walmart. I didn't get this online. I got this at Walmart when it was on the pegs. For about ten dollars so i'm really proud of it this is a really nice figure it's it's okay i mean the uh he has a nice graphic on the shirt you know everything like that and you'll see that this head sculpt is actually used again on an elite which i think is kind of lazy but i get it i'm pretty sure this is the one that they used afterwards because the beard is darker everything's kind of darker but on the elite it's lighter so i mean i don't know i don't know how the timeline works uh for that but i would assume that this one was made after just because of the facial hair being darker so i would assume they used it again and just darkened it up just to use it on the basic and i'll show you after this okay so this is the first elite i have of cm punk <clears throat> uh, it's a toys r us exclusive as you can see, Toys R Us. I got this when it was at Toys R Us. I didn't get this online. It has a piece of Paul Heyman on the bottom here. You can't see it, but it's right under here. Never opened it, so it's still in there. Got the urn and everything, and this is what I'm talking about. See, you can see the sculpt of the head is about the same. Let me grab them both in a comparison. So you see he's like, he has like the yelling face. Pretty much same thing. Uh, but the basic is darker, so I'm assuming they just put more stuff on the basic. I don't know how it works. I don't know if that's what they did, but that's what, just what I'm assuming they did. Uh, but yeah, nice figure. This is what the Paul Heyman looks. I don't have any other of these guys. I don't have them. I uh, kind of, when I was collecting back then, I was picking. Cher I was just cherry picking them. And now when I started collecting recently, I was trying to get as many as I could not a wise financial decision so i kind of stopped because it's not wise that's hundreds of dollars a month and it's not good so that's why i stopped plus i got a new apartment i need the money um so i might start selling them off don't know yet but yeah I, i'm in talks with this guy from chicago uh, that wants to buy these so i'm in talks with him right now and i'll figure it out but yeah i mean these this it's a really nice figure it's a little dusty on the top don't really touch them that much that's why but yeah i also don't want to hear anybody complaining about how they're all set up in the closet i don't care okay i don't i don't care how they're set up um they're fine i made sure they're fine i made sure that they're not crushing each other they are you know they're kind of everywhere but i i always make sure that they're still in good condition so yeah okay the second one i wanted to show you guys is another toys r us exclusive Again, got it at Toys R Us. Did not get this online. I think the rest of them I did get online. Uh, I got two ringside collectible ones left and another regular elite one. But this one I got at the store. Again, has the thing. You can't really see it. Even if I tilt it a little, you can't see it. But the piece is on the bottom, and it's the Jim Ross. It's the build the Jim Ross. Very nice. Pretty good. Pretty great condition. You know, it's little little creased right here but it is what it is dusty on top of course i don't touch them so this is what the jim ross is supposed to look like right here i have the curtis axel 
found him. Luckily, I, I wanted him so bad, and I've luckily found him at Toys R Us. I think it was actually on sale too, because I think this was. I don't think it's around the time actually. I don't think it was around the time that it was closing. But I was able to find him, and I was really happy to find him. But yeah, pretty good, nice figure. Pretty sculpt. I mean, this one's a little bit more weird because he's a little. Well, I don't know. They they kind of show more of the body. It's a little bit weird to me. But yeah. So, yeah, another Toys R Us exclusive. Very happy to have this. Okay, so I lied. I found two more CM Punks in my closet that I completely forgot I had. So, I got this one at Walmart. Elite 29, Series 29. I completely forgot I had this one. I remember getting this one at Walmart, and I just forgot that I had it. So... Uh, disregard the fact that I said that there's two more or three more that I had ordered online. No, there's two more that I forgot to show. So here's one of them. I think I have the Eric Rowan. I think that's all. Uh, not sure why I didn't get the other ones. You know, now they're pretty valuable, especially uh, Lou Harper. You know, rest in peace. Uh, but yeah, it's okay figure. This one's kind of weird. This one's like not as good as the other ones i mean there's they don't give them a lot they give them the jacket and that's it yeah, i mean he has a lot of cool tattoo stuff but that's about it like the, the things that have been like the pictures aren't even that cool but yeah so that's one of them i don't know how i forgot this one this one's another valuable one cm punk series 16 yep yeah. I actually did order this one online. I ordered this from the same guy that I ordered uh, some of the other stuff from, like the one you're going to see next. The uh, Not next, but the one you're going to see a little bit later on, the Nexus one. I ordered those from the same guy and this one. I ordered this one as well. I also ordered from him, which I'll show later on, I ordered the, the Diesel one. I had the Diesel one, and I ordered the Heath Slater one from the same guy. I believe I got the Ezekiel Jackson a long time ago. I got him, and I'll show that one off later on. And I think I have the Rock. I don't know if it's the same one. I know it's the same one in the same style box. But yeah, you'll see that one later on, and it's not good. Like the 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 figure's just not good. But yeah, this this is a nice one. I really like this one. I like the box art. I wish I had the one that had the championship with them, but I don't have that one. Um, I will also show ones I don't have. Uh, the elites I don't have. I don't think there's a lot of them, but I'll show that one and then the AEW ones that are coming out. But yeah, so this one too. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. Here is the ringside exclusive. The second ringside exclusive they made of CM Punk. It's the ECW version. He has the belt, he has the mic, he has a shirt. A sweet ass shirt, I might add. And I love this box. I love how the ringside collectible, they always customize the box. It doesn't just look regular like the other ones, you know, white and blue. No, they customize everything on the box. Now, they just have a big-ass description, of an entire novel of his ECW days, I guess. Um, I don't really read them, but yeah, box looks great. It's obviously his old version of himself from ECW days, and yeah. Again, really have, uh, happy to have this. I ordered this online when they had it on the site, which I'm very happy about because that saved me probably like $150. So, yeah, really happy to have this one too. Okay, this is the second to last CM Punk I have. Now, this one is the Series 11 Nexus CM Punk. Now, he has the armband. You know, he has the shirt. But yeah, I wasn't really watching around this time. I actually wasn't watching at all when CM Punk was there. Uh, but, yeah. So, I'm assuming this... I mean, he wore this shirt because of colors, obviously. But, pretty great uh, figure. I'm actually very happy to have this one with the condition it's in. Because it has no crease. Most of them will have a crease right here. But, this one has no crease. So, the guy I bought this from, I actually ordered this one online. Or, I bought it from a guy online. And, I forget how much I paid for it. But... I'm very happy about the condition it's in. So you can see like all these guys. I think I have the Christian and the Miz. I have a Miz in this type of box, but I'm not sure if it's this one. I'm pretty sure I have the Christian though. 
or maybe I don't know what series. They have a lot of Christians, a lot of Mrs. So um, in this stop uh, style of boxes. So yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, very nice. I really like this one. But again, I'm probably gonna end up selling this one to this uh, this guy that's asking for him, Chicago guy. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is the biggest, most valuable figure I have in my collection right now. And if anybody here is watching that knows anything about elite figures, you'll know exactly which one I'm talking about. And it is the ringside exclusive SES CM Punk. Now this one is very, very valuable. I actually found this one at a mall in San Antonio at a wrestling shop. And I'm not even going to disclose how much I paid for it because it's kind of embarrassing. Especially for people that don't buy figures. They're going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing that? But, like, hear me out. I've never seen this in person before. And I was like, if I don't get that, I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to see it again. People are wanting this so bad. And for the price they're asking for, it's going to fly off the shelf. Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. But, yeah, so, very nice. I have it in a case. I'm not taking it out of the case. This one, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of. I'm very on the fence about it. It is a lot of money, like rent money, that I can be asking for it, and somebody could buy it for that much if they think it's that much. But, very nice figure. I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. This is one of the ones where I'm more leaning about keeping. And of course, uh, the guy, um, I bought it in San Antonio, and the guy that I've been buying the other figures from, like that uh, SES, or not SES, the Nexus CM Punk from, he actually sent me this case for this specific figure. And I'm very grateful for that. Great condition. I'm pretty sure it was the first ever ringside exclusive Elite that they made. And I don't know if, well, I don't know, because I don't know if they did the uh, Legends Randy Savage um, before then, but I know that this is one of the first, if not the first one. And I'm so happy to have this. So, that's my CM Punk collection. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I might do John Cena. Again, that's the same guy's asking for the John Cena, so I might just do him real fast. Uh, so maybe I can see if I can sell it to this guy. But, yeah. I'm very happy to have these. I'm going to set this up here, actually. But... That's my CM Punk collection of figures, and I plan on showing more. I actually have a couple more, like right here. I might do a Jeff Hardy. I have a couple of Jeff Hardy ones. This one I might keep, I don't know. Um, I'm leaning more towards keeping it, just because how the box is. It's, it's a fucking awesome box. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my collection of CM Punk figures. And next time I might do John, I might, I'll probably do John Cena. Why not? So those are all the ones that I have right now. There are a couple that I don't have. Um, Elites and AEW ones. I think they just came up with AEW ones. So I don't know if I'll pick them up or not. But yeah, so one of the first ones is a Series 1 CM Punk. The Elite Series 1. Now I have the MVP. And that's all I have from Series 1. That one, that one's hard to come by. Uh, I've seen guys selling the entire set for $1,000. Definitely not going to get that. But, yeah, so I've seen that. Um, I don't have the Series 20, I believe. The Series 20, where he has the championship belt. Um, it's a That's a different one. That one's uh, sought after as well. It's not, like, as sought after as, like, the SES CM Punk, but that one's uh, another sought after one. Um, there's another one, which I guess they just have the same style like the they just took the same picture as the series 16 one um i don't know why they did it it's a toys r us exclusive one where i think again he has a championship belt and for some reason they just decided to use the same picture on there just slap the picture on there kind of lazy uh but it is what it is um i think there's the of course like the aew ones there's the one that just came out the unmatched they came out with a rare version of both that one and, uh, well, no, they just came out with the AEW Unmatched one, the rare version. And then he has a 
rivaled version too, or an unrivaled as well. And he also is going to come out with his own ringside exclusive AEW figure uh, in a little while, where he's like in like an ice cream box. And it's pre- it looks pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a couple of uh, elites that I don't have. Um, I'm I'm probably gonna throw a couple of them if I missed some of them. Um, but yeah, so yeah, those are all the ones I have. Those are all the ones I'm missing. And I don't know if I'll try to get the ones that I'm missing. Depends if I if I really want to get rid of them. I'm thinking about getting a storage for them maybe. Um, but that's like extra. But, yeah, I think the next one I'll do is John Cena. I'll show all the ones I have, show all the ones I don't have. And uh, I'm just going to do elites. I'm just doing elites. If I have a basic of them, I'll do a basic. Like, I'll I'll do, um, I'll show the ones that I have. I'm not going to show basics I don't have. If I did all the CM Punk ones, there'd be basics everywhere. There'd be Funko Pops everywhere. I'm not going to do those. I don't really collect Funko Pops. Uh, I have some, but I'm not, I never went out of my way to collect them. But, yeah, so... Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy, and if you want to see another one, then next one is Sean Cena.